In this episode, we glue on the forward dead wood and the shaft alley back aft. Hi, I'm Bill England of the Ambler Odyssey's YouTube channel, where I am vlogging the build of a George Bueller designed 48 foot wooden troller yacht here in my Summerside, Prince Edward Island, Canada backyard boat shed. With the frames built, we are on to laminating the keel. When she is completed, we will sail the seven seas in search of adventure. time to switch from the Cascofen resource null base to West System Epoxy for the keel sub-assemblies that are located within the hull. First up is the deadwood that will add additional strength to the four-foot extension beyond the keel. You can see that the pre-assembled deadwood is not quite a snug fit, so some planing was required. A batch of 105 epoxy resin was mixed with 206 slow hardener and applied to the keel forefoot area. Any sunny day in the summer results in hot temperatures inside the boat shed, so using a 206 slow hardener extended the life of the epoxy so that it can be applied to both faces before the mix kicks and begins to harden. With the wet layer on, a second layer of thickened epoxy was applied. I add fine wood flour collected from my orbital sander, adding it until a thick consistency is acquired. This thickened epoxy will fill in any imprints in the timbers and ensure a fully bonded joint. Ho and away we go! You can see a standard layer of epoxy has been applied.
And that is the dead wood glued up. Now to move aft and to glue up the lower and upper shaft log. The 19 foot length of the lower section of the shaft log took a lot of preparation. It is time to add the wet out layer. The base of the lower shaft log assembly. All of it. To the opposite face, I'm adding a thickened layer of epoxy. weight trained for months to be able to flip this over. Just call me Jed Clampett. Listen to the story about a man named Jed, the poor mountaineer barely kept his family fed. And then one day he was shooting at some food, and up to the ground come a bubbling food. Oil, that is, black gold, Texas tea. Well, the first thing you know, old Jeb's a millionaire. The kinfolk said, Jeb, move away from there. Said, California is the place you ought to be. So they loaded up the truck and they moved to Beverly Hills, that is, swimming pools, movie stars. I am adding some 12 inch long, half inch thick drifts in the aft section of the lower shaft log to help strengthen this joint. gracefulness of a boat builder. Not 
Not that any water should ever make its way near these drift holes, but a little tar is added just to help seal the deal. Now for the upper and lower shaft log assemblies to be matrimonially wed and never come apart. Why, you would think I'm Michelangelo painting the Sistine Chapel. Come on, Bill. Get on with it. I want to make sure I clean up any epoxy that spilled into the shaft block. Once these two pieces are mated, Tyrion will never see the light of day again.
Just adding a stop or piece of wood to keep the upper shaft log assembly from sliding backwards as I clamp it. With the keel now thicker than my bark lamps, time for some ratchet straps. There's definitely a nice satisfaction in unclamping a big project. Things are certainly start to shape up. With the two pieces of the shaft log glued up, there's only three left. So tune in to the next episode where the horn timber is lifted into position, glued up, as is the transom knee. <laughs>